Good morning, hello, welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up and came out to water the garden with my low-key broken hose that was kind of spraying everywhere, but I, I kind of stopped the hole with my thumb and we got a new hose. So I think this is gonna be my last day watering like this because we're gonna replace it today. But anyways, here is what the garden is looking like nowadays. We are two weeks since I did all of that new planting and the transfers and pretty much everything has taken really well. The poppies have started to bloom. These are native California poppies and they are just the most beautiful, vibrant orange color. The blossoms literally only last a couple days, but there's always new ones popping up. So it's just been this like endless stream of beautiful orange flowers. Behind them, the watermelon is sprouting. And those sprouts like just came in. That took forever ever to germinate. Um, we've got the cosmos in the back. We've got some of the other bell peppers and tomatoes in the pots. This is our sweet spicy pepper, posh spice. The spicy peppers haven't really shown a lot of growth since I transferred them, but they're still alive. They look good. They're just not getting any bigger, hopefully soon. And then the butterfly garden bed, cosmos looking good, milkweed, and our velvet queen sunflowers sprouting back there. I'm gonna do a quick check for any ripe strawberries. Not quite. Not not quite. Mm, this one needs another day. Got some more in the pots over here. Oh, and I kind of glossed over the first two beds, but in this one, we have our first little marigold bud. Super exciting. Zucchini's looking good. Sunflowers. I cannot wait for these to flower. They're going to be so beautiful. In this bed, we've got the cilantro still popping off. The tomato seedlings have had some growth. Again, though, the, the spicy peppers. Miss Sporty Spice. She looks the same as she did two weeks ago. Well, let me know if you have any spicy pepper tips because could use some advice but other than that oh my gosh look at my garden bruiser was barking during that clip she did not like being left on the other side of the gate from me oh that reminds me i've seen some comments asking about having native milkweed in the garden because it can be toxic in high amounts to dogs and kids but our garden is right by the pool which is fenced off from the rest of the yard so the dogs and grace cannot get over here without us which is very convenient and one of the reasons that i decided to put the garden over there so there's that side and then this is the side of the yard that they have access to with all the toys and the grass except it's not real grass it's astroturf and i don't like plastic grass so i low-key want to get rid of it but yeah oh i also put some other random seedlings over here just because there really was nowhere else to put them in the garden but we have uh this box of basil some marigolds and cosmos and over here more marigolds and cosmos so yeah there's my little uh good morning garden tour we also have these beautiful beautiful blue flowers that I love. I didn't plant these though. These were the previous owners of the house, but they are so gorgeous. Today is Sunday. We're gonna have a chill first half of the day at home. Then Steven's going to his friend's grad party in the evening and Grace and I have some fun plans to fill the day. So it's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna go inside, get started on some breakfast. Oh, just have a nice, slow, no rush start to this day. We're getting some laundry done with our excellent laundry helper. We are officially entering pool season. The amount of pool towels that get washed around here is insane. A single mom works two jobs. Grace and I are going to try to buy Sierra some time this morning, so we're going to go to Lowe's and Target. And then uh, later today, I'm actually heading down downtown uh, to hang out with some friends, so. Woo! I'm gonna go shower. Alrighty, so <laughs> Grace and I are finally trying to get out of here because another thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go run down to the store where they got Grace's shoes mishap. We have two left shoes. Look what Grace just handed me. It's giving, uh, it's giving Guardians 3. I just got out of the shower, got dressed, ready and everything, and Steven and Grace aren't here. It's just me and the dogs. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have about an hour and a half left until they get back. I, I have some work that I need to go up to my office, take care of real quick, probably like 30 minutes, um, maybe a little bit longer because I also wanna walk on the treadmill. I wanna tidy up the kitchen. It is very cluttered, probably, probably the living room too, if I have time. And then I'm hoping I have some time left to just Chill, sit, relax, enjoy the quiet, drink my coffee. We'll see though. An hour, an hour and a half is gonna go by, go by quick. Oh, except you know, you know what I didn't even factor in. Stephen and Grace are getting back at twelve thirty. Stephen's gonna be heading out shortly after that, so I'll be with Grace. But she is gonna nap around one, and her nap's usually around an hour. So I really am gonna like total. I'm gonna have like two and a half hours. <laughs> we have so much time. And you know, you know what? If I'm not worried about time, I think I'm gonna 
gonna start with my sitting, doing nothing, drinking coffee because that's that sounds wonderful. I made myself the Starbucks dupe of the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I've shown this before. I learned it from TikTok, but you just do the espresso, the milk, ice, brown sugar in a mason jar, seal the lid, shake it to no end. Ah, and it's so good. Oh, hi, baby. Would you like to chill with me on the couch? Oh, hi, sweet girl. <laughs> She's laying down by my feet now. Just close enough that I can scratch your belly with my toes. Yes. Ah, <sighs> well, I'm gonna enjoy doing nothing. Go for a nice little scroll on TikTok. Oh, this is nice. Just got back home, ran into some uh, hiccups at the mall. Ends up all the stores opened at 11, so Grace and I had about 30 minutes to kill there. So we did what any good person would do and got Retzel's pet, what's it called? Wetzel's pretzels? That was like the quickest quick option that was gonna buy me some time. So that was fun. And it was funny, I told her like, when we walk in, we can ask for help. And we walked in and Grace started just shouting, help me, help me. And I was like, oh no, she's okay. We went to Target and got some more Uncrustables, some more milk, uh, just some other little knickknacks. So I'm actually heading out shortly here. One of my friends just graduated and then a bunch of us are going out just getting some beers and having lunch. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy, uh, I think we got about 30 minutes here before I head out. I'm gonna hang out with them on the couch, probably whip out some lunch and. Uh, yeah, we'll have fun. We're also gonna FaceTime my parents right now. So my dad just retired and so they're kind of living that retired life now. They're going on like a two month trip to Europe. They leave tomorrow night? Tomorrow morning? Tuesday morning? One of those. But yeah, so they're kind of hungering down before their flight. They're trying to avoid getting sick or anything. So we're gonna FaceTime them real quick before they fly out. So uh, we will check in with you guys later. <laughs> you wanna lay down? Look at this stuff. Isn't it me? Wouldn't you think my collection is complete? All right, it is now 1.30. Grace is napping, Steven's gone, I'm getting some work done, and I am really excited for what we have planned for the afternoon. So I think I mentioned there's this like street fair festival. We're gonna go there for a couple hours, and then I thought it was just gonna be me and Grace, but I had extended the invite to my family group chat, and my mom said that she's in, she's gonna come meet us. So that's gonna make it like even more fun. And then from there, Grace and I are going to see Ryan's little sister perform in her middle school production of Finding Nemo the Musical, which is gonna be so cute, so fun. Um, we're not actually going with Ryan because Ryan already went back to LA, but we're gonna go with her mom and some of their family friends who also have little kids. So it'll be really fun and, and great to go and support her sister. And this whole thing was actually, I mean, it was really Grace's idea. <laughs> Ryan was in town a couple days ago to see her sister in the opening night of the show. And she was over at my house and we were talking about it and Grace was like, fish show? watch fish show, watch Ryan fish show. She calls Ryan Ryrie and she goes like, for, instead of saying fish. So as soon as she heard that combination of words in our conversation, she was like endlessly asking, watch Ryrie show. <laughs> She was like so into the idea and Grace loves the Finding Nemo characters. So I was like, that could be fun. We could go to the show and support Ryan's little sister. It's shorter because it's a school production and it's characters that Grace already knows and loves. So we couldn't go to the same night as Ryan. We had other plans, but we decided to get tickets for another day. So that is what we're gonna be doing this evening. Grace is so excited about it. She's been bringing it up like 500 times a day. And so today before her nap, I was like, you know what we're gonna do when you wake up? We're gonna go to the street festival and then we're we're gonna go watch Ryan's sister in the fish show. And she was so excited. She was like fully on board to nap because she was like, this is the means to the end to the fish show. So <laughs> that is our plan for the rest of the evening. The show's at six. So I think we'll be back here right around eight for just like a slightly later bedtime. But yeah, I'm excited. I am going to get some work done, get some steps in while I'm at it. Um, and then I just need to pack a quick bag and Grace and I will head out when she's up. All right, gathered everything I'm bringing and I decided instead of of bringing the diaper bag, I'm just gonna put everything in my Taylor Swift canvas bag. I thought it fit the vibe better and I don't wanna wear a backpack because it's gonna make me sweaty. <laughs> so we've got diapers and wipes, snacks and water, film camera. Then I'm gonna put my wallet and keys in this little pouch. Just keep the bag a little more organized. My phone will also go in here and then Grace and I made a little card for Ryan's sister. All right, here is the fit. My Beatles shirt is from Aerie. These pants are from Lucy and Yak. The belt I stole 
from Steven's closet, which actually is so funny. The second I put this on, Grace ran up to me and said, Dada belt. How did she know that this was Steven's? Absolutely blew my mind. And she kept saying it. She kept pointing to it, Dada belt. Why yes, Grace, I did steal Dada's belt. It fit the outfit. And then I'm just wearing my white Nikes. And as I already showed you, the Taylor Swift bag. So whenever Grace is up, we will be out of here. You caught your fish? Yeah. Are you excited for the fish show tonight? Yes. Ravi. Ryan's sister is in it. We just made it to the festival. My mom's here too. Got here like right at the same time. We just parked in different places. So we're walking to meet up and then we're going to explore everything. The fish? Do you remember who's in the show? Yeah. Who? Ravi. Ryan's sister. How exciting. And remember what we do during the show? Shh, we be quiet, that's right. Find a happy place, find a happy place, find a happy place! Oh my gosh, what a fun evening. What a fun day after, really the whole the whole weekend was just great. The, the show was so fun. Grace loved it. She was so into it. It was so fun to see Ryan's sister perform. She's so talented. And just to get to hang with their whole family and all their friends there, it was such a blast. Grace has literally not stopped talking about the show since it ended. She loved it. She was really engaged the whole time and she was like very intently listening to what they were saying because when they said words that she recognized, she would like repeat it back or point it out. Anytime they mentioned school, like Nemo going to school, she's like, me school. I'm like, yes, you go to school like Nemo. She kept saying that the, the baby fish was sad because they couldn't find his dad. And then at the end she yelled happy. And when Ryan's sister came out, even with like all the makeup and the costumes, Grace recognized her and she yelled Ryrie sister. Oh, she loved it. I, I feel like I need to find more just like youth shows and like kid friendly shows to take Grace to because she did amazing. We, we had like a little chat about audience etiquette before and, and it seemed to really resonate with her every now and then she would turn to me and go shh I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, we're quiet during the show. Other than her little interjections and she clapped when we were supposed to clap. It was so fun. I'm so glad we went. The street fair was also really great. I got a couple things that I want to show you guys. First, this is definitely what I'm most excited about. I got this hand crocheted little purse. It's like a crossbody. Like, are you kidding me? How cute and the butterflies on it. The girl running the booth was the artist who made these and she put her business card in here. It's Callie Creates on Instagram. I'll link them in the description. So cute and the quality feels amazing. It's lined on the inside. I thought this would be such a perfect little just like keys wallet phone bag and so cute and so unique. I am so, so excited about this. I, ju I just, oh, I love it. I also got an apron. I've been keeping my eye out for cool aprons for a while because now that I'm doing so much gardening, it'd be nice to have something like this. Hold on, let me move this down so you can see it better. I've been wanting to get a good apron for gardening so that I don't get all dirty when I'm out there. Also good for cooking, of course, too. I tend to get pretty messy when I'm cooking, so multi-use, but what really sold me on this first, the pattern, the little sheep, so cute, but what, what really sealed the deal was this giant, pocket in the front. Look how deep this pocket is. I can put like all my gardening stuff in this and it's so cute. So I've got my sheep apron, my crochet purse, and if if my, my street fair haul couldn't get any more random, but also more me, <laughs> I got a new set of Dungeons and Dragons dice. There was a small business that had a booth there that did entirely Dungeons and Dragons focused things. And these are just the most gorgeous dice. Right now me and Steven share dice, which is fine. But when I saw these and felt these, they feel so high quality. I was like, I think, I think I'm ready for my own dice set. And look, now I can put my D and D dice in my sheep apron or in my butterfly crochet purse. The options are limitless. Oh wow, well, what what a very me collection of things to get at the street fair. Very happy. Oh. 
very happy with my purchases. Me after filming that clip, realizing that you couldn't even get a full look at the apron. So here it is. I love it. All right, popped up to the office real quick. I'm gonna do like 45 minutes of work. Get myself set up nicely going into the week. And then around 10.30, Steven and I are gonna reconvene on the couch to watch the last episode of Survivor from uh, this past Wednesday. And then this Wednesday is the finale. I'm so excited about it. I just, I gotta talk about it real quick. I know by the time this vlog goes out that the finale will have happened. So leave your finale thoughts in the comments, but going into the, the episode before the finale. I am just rooting for Tika. It could be Jam Jam, it could be Carson. I hope it's Carolyn. I love Carolyn, but those three have just been so fun to watch. Like fun to watch strategically, but also personality. And I know in like the, the new era of the game, a criticism I feel like I see pop up a lot is like, oh, now it's just, it's just game bots. Like people who are like only focused on the strategy. And so it's not as fun to watch them all interact and navigate life on this island and after this season I just don't I don't think that can be a criticism anymore at least for this season it's been so good and those three have been a huge part of it so I hope that one of them comes away as the sole survivor but honestly even if they don't like it's still an amazing season it's been so fun so yeah um random survivor rant I've got to get to work and uh, I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!